Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindran Pillai. In this session, I shall explain about the improved randomness in .NET 8. So, let's start. I have created a console application and it is opened in my VS Code editor. If I click on this project here, you can see that the target framework is set to .NET 8. Now, in the program.cs, I have created an array of string named project templates with values ASP.NET Core Web API, Blazor Hybrid, .NET Mavi, and .NET Aspire. Then I have looped through these project templates and printed the values in the console window. Now let me run the application. So in the terminal window, run the command .NET run. And here you can see that all the project templates values got printed in the console window. Now let me run this command once again, .NET run. This time also I got the output as the same and that too in the same order. That is because it will go and print the values in the order that it is assigned to the project templates array. Okay, so now I want to print the project templates values in a random order. In order to achieve that, prior to .NET 8, developers used to write custom logic. In .NET 8, this can be easily achieved by using the newly introduced shuffle method of the shared random instance. For that, let me add the code here. Here I can say random.shared.shuffle. And the shuffle is taking two overloads. It's taking a span of T and in the second overload, it is taking an array. In our case, we are using an array. So here I'm going to pass the project templates. That's it. The random.shared.shuffle method allows to shuffle elements in an array or span without creating a new array or span. Instead, it is only going to reorganize the items in the original array. Now let me run this application. So let me clear this terminal first and run the command .NET run. And here you can see that the order is changed. Now it is .NET Aspire, .NET Mavi, Blazor Hybrid, ASP.NET Core Web API. So let me run this application once again, .NET run. This time the order is again changed. It is ASP.NET Core Web API, Blazor Hybrid, .NET Aspire, and .NET Mavi. So we are able to shuffle the items by using a single line of code. There is one more method that is newly added to the random.shared instance in .NET 8. That is the getItems method. The random.shared.getItems method allows to randomly choose a specified amount of items from an input set. For the demo purpose, let me uh, comment these lines of code. And uh, paste the code here. Okay. So here I have created an array of console color. This array is populated with all the colors for the console by using the enum.get values of console color method. Then I have added the code to print all the colors in the terminal window. So let me run the application. So in the terminal window, run the command .NET run. Okay, so let me expand this. And here you can see that all the colors are printed in the terminal window. Now, Instead of printing all the colors in the terminal window, I would like to print three random colors. This can be achieved by using random.share.getItems method. So let me minimize this terminal window first. And here, let me add the code var random colors is equal to, you can say random.shared. And I can use the new get items method. And in the get items method, I'm going to pass the array here. So I'm going to pass the console colors. And the second parameter is the length. So the length of the array to return. So here I want three random colors. That's it. So this will generate a new array of length three. Okay. So now let me copy this random colors and put it over here. Sorry and let me run this application and see. So let me clear the terminal first and run the command .NET run. And here you can see that it has generated three random colors, black, dark cyan, and white. So let me run it again, .NET run. This time it is dark cyan, white, and blue. So every time it randomly select three colors and print in the terminal window. Now, let me combine the new shuffle and get methods in this demo. For that, let me uncomment this code first. So let me scroll up. Okay, so I have uncommented the code. So what I'm planning to do here is that I want to randomly select one console color 
and use that console color to print the project templates in the terminal window. So let me minimize this terminal window first, okay? And what I'm going to do here is let me go and remove all this code. Let me copy this code here and paste it here, okay? And what I'm going to do here is I will set the console dot foreground color is equal to we will say random dot share dot get items and here I will pass the console colors and here I want to randomly generate one color okay now this get items is returning an array so and we are trying to assign it to console dot foreground color so what I need to do here is I will use dot last or default that's it now let me run this application and test this. The project templates are printed in different order and it is printed in yellow color. Now let me run the .NET run command again. Again, the project template order is changed and this time it is printed in blue color. So we have combined the shuffle and get items methods. This is all about improved randomness in .NET 8. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next updates. Thank you.